Mm. Yeah. Hang on one second. Let me turn the lights off. Ugh. That's better. Okay. Welcome to uh, assignment nine. We, who knows? All right. The suggested deadline for this is May 15th. Okay. This post is a little bit different. Unlike any of our other posts, you'll notice that assignment eight was really short. Assignment nine, I'm going to release on Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. because it's a little bit meatier. Okay. A little bit longer. Okay. So assignment nine suggested deadline is due on Friday still. Okay. First step is to watch the video you are watching right now, and I'm going to walk you through everything. Okay. Second step says, read through your final project options for Amigo Brothers. So we're doing kind of like a mini final project. If project scares you, just just a class assignment. All right. You should still be able to get it done um, in about an hour. Okay. But since the first lesson only took you probably 20, 30 minutes, you really can work up to this one on an hour and a half. Uh, but it should be pretty good. Okay. You're going to click on this document here called Step 2 Amigo Brothers Choice List. I've already opened it up for you here. Okay. You have three options to choose from. Okay. You can choose one of these two options, one of these three options. If you're AIG, you must choose from down here, option four or five. Anybody can choose option four and five, but AIG must choose option four and five. Okay. So uh, you're going to choose one of these options, just one. All you got to do is one. Okay. The first one is to add a scene. You're going to add a scene at, at some part of the story. So imagine you're the author. Maybe you add a scene to the end because we don't know what happened at the end of the book. Maybe you want to complete that scene. Maybe you want to add a training scene for somebody or what happened before the book. Whatever you do, you write it in third-person omniscient. So that narrator knows how everybody's thinking, just like our story's written. You include some dialogue if necessary, and you continue to develop the conflict. Make it interesting, all right? But give us something to what we want to read. Just to give you an idea, okay? So you're not really going to have to turn this into me, but to give you an idea, it should really be about one page, double space, 12-point font on a Google Doc, okay? That'll be about the right length when you share it with us at the end, okay? The second one's a magazine cover, right? Create a magazine cover for your short story. You can use Google Draw. You can use Google Slides. You can even draw it yourself, right, and upload it that way if you want to, okay? But you must include a title for the magazine, a headline, a picture that represents the story, and two examples from the story, one internal conflict and one of the external conflicts. So one of the conflicts in your head and one of the conflicts going on around you, and then kind of the theme of the story, okay? These must be included. Now, when I'm looking for this, I'm looking for a full page. Don't draw right in the middle of a page, right? Get that full space filled up. Make it nice and good. It's a final project. Don't give me black and white stuff unless you're like shading something and making it look like a masterpiece, okay? Let's really put some effort in these. All right, number three, what happens after the fight? Very similar to this one, but you're tied into exactly when you have to write. You have to write the new ending to the story. So not necessarily a scene, but how the story would end if we had a couple more pages to it. Who wins the fight? How does each character react to the fight? What happens when Antonio and Felix see each other after the fight? Do they remain friends? You got to, once again, stick with the theme of the story. And again, right, one page, double space, 12-point font is about the length of what you should be writing. Okay? Then the AIG options. Like I said, everybody can do these options. AIG, you are required. Okay, for number four, you're going to write a Shakespearean sonnet. All right, from your character's point of view, use the graphic organizer linked here, okay, to plan your sonnet, and you got to be in sure to include um, your internal conflict, okay? Okay, so once you get in, it is very, very important, very, very important. Let me see what happens if I just change this account back to my student account I'm using just to show you what it's going to look like for you. That logged in is me, and I want you to see what it'll look like for you. All right, basically the same, okay? You need to make sure that when you do this, okay, that you don't edit this. Make yourself a copy of this, okay? You do that by going up and clicking File. Make a copy, and then you start working, okay? Don't change anything, all right? But this walks you right through what you're doing, and when you're finally done, you're going to have a nice 
rhyming story of Amigo Brothers, and you're going to record that for us on our Flipgrid. Okay. Step five or option five is a playlist. Once again, you click on this. You're going to create a playlist. Okay. You're going to show our characters' growth during the story and, and explain how tech using text evidence how these songs show how that character's changed and evolved over time. All right. So you get to pick some songs. You're going to pick three songs. All right. You can link them to YouTube, whatever you want to do to link them. Right. You can see that somebody is editing this when they should not be, but I'll get there and fix that. All right. Um, so make sure that you grab that and you fill this out. It's very easy. You tell me the song. Give me the character trait. You tell me the song. And he told me the lyric. You can see that Elijah up here is doing that already. Okay. So those are your five options. When you decide which one you're going to do, start on it. Get after it. Okay. Then when you're officially done, let me close out some tabs here. You're not going to add it to Google Classroom like normal. Okay. You're not going to add it. All right. You're going to come up to Flipgrid. Okay. And you see Mr. Miles Flipgrid. You can find that by clicking on this link right here. It'll pop it up for you. Boom. Mr. Miles Flipgrid, always log in with Google. You are going to put in your Google account, sign in as my wife since she's my fake teacher, and boom, you see her name gets populated up here, and we are at my Flipgrid. Okay, here is what you're going to do. Instead of uploading your assignment to Google like normal, I want you to read your scene. I want you to show us the magazine. I want you to explain your songs. I want you to just tell me for about two minutes what you created. Show it to us, okay? If you have a magazine cover, put it up in front of the camera. If you've got, uh, if you pick songs, play a little clip of them for us. Tell us the name of the songs. If you wrote a scene, read it to us. If you wrote a sonnet, read it to us. If you wrote a new ending, read it to us, okay? If for whatever reason this doesn't work, make sure you just upload yours into Google Classroom, okay? That's important. So if you cannot get this to work, don't stress about it. It's cool to see because everybody will be able to see it, but don't Stress, just upload yours in Google Classroom, okay? Then make sure you mark done in Google Classroom as well. You got to mark done, okay? I got to know that it's there. So how do I submit, okay? Well, you're going to come down here and kick this big green button, all right? Notice it says, after selecting the green, the green plus, complete these four easy steps. We're going to click the big green plus. Oh, my gosh, it's two of me, all right? I have two minutes to record. You can put some stickers on your face. All right, we'll put a big cheesy smile, and you can make it all big. I could just maybe have this guy over my eye, right? Whatever you want to do, play around with it. Then you record. It's going to give you a countdown, and you give us some finger guns. You read it. You show it. Whatever you want to do. When you are done, you click pause, okay? You can pause it, and then click record again and record more, okay? If you your brother walks in on you while you're trying to film, go ahead and pause it. Tell them, hey, get out of here, and then click record again. Okay, if you don't like any of it, you can just redo all of it. When you're done, you click next. And you give us some finger guns. You're going to play it back for you. I don't know if you can hear do. that, but when you can you see that it's done, being played. Click. The audio is there, and then I click next. You have to take a selfie. This is your profile picture on your video. It's going to take capture your face. Again, you can put stickies, make them really big. That's my selfie. Right, click next. It's going to do your thing. You give it your name. Remember, no last names for us. Okay. Give it a title. Uh, I might say option one. And if I had a link to something, maybe a Google Drive or Google Doc where I wrote stuff, you could put it there. And then you click submit video. Simple as that. Now, it's not going to pop up immediately. It's going to send me an email to let me know that you did it. Okay. And once I get that, then I'll make sure to go back in and check it. So once you put your video on there, excellent. Excellent. Okay. Come back over here and click mark as done. Okay, now after you've watched this video, I know it's a little long. I put all the instructions here on how to do a flip grid, and I put all the instructions here. So they are in three places, the video, the Google assignment, and Flipgrid. All right, guys, I'm pretty excited to see what you've got. We're trying our best to make language arts a little more inviting online. I'm hearing your feedback on that. I know you want to do more fun things. We really are trying. It's hard to teach language arts online, so we're getting better. So this is one of our ways. You guys can see your friends, do some fun stuff, put it on Flipgrid, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing them. All right, guys.